campaigns. I looked up a bunch of 1920 slang and the PCs, including Matt here, went into Harlem. They're talking to some guy and he just went and they looked at each other and they're like, the words were in English, but I have no idea what he was saying. What the hell is a snowbird and shit? And they were just totally baffled. They were like, yeah, we got to stop Logan from doing research. We don't like it. What the hell do you mean roll my slang, Harlem slang? No. What do you mean black slang is different than white slang in this time period? Good times. So, yeah, that's approximately where your character's knowledge begins and ends back in the 20s. You've seen people work the computers, but nobody you know. Is there a phone book? Uh, yes, he's got one. It looks like it's unopened. It's in plastic. Uh, <laughs> it's in the desk. Uh, it looks quite old. I open it. All right, you rip the plastic off and look at it. It looks like a, a, if the year is 2000 now, this is back in the like uh, uh, early 90s, so seven, eight years old. Yeah. Look for a computer shop entry. Computer. computer. Yeah, there's there's one. Mm. Well, <laughs> he looks resentfully at the phone book. They probably know how to use a computer. Sure, they do. It says it in their name. If we're willing to leave this place. No, you can live out the rest of your days here if you wanted. I mean, you've got the chair, the desk, the dog. Do you guys need a gun? Um, I do not have a gun on me. Yeah. I give you the thirty-eight. The revolver? Yeah. You're a horrible person. All right, you got a five shot D eight uh, thrower. If you want the stolen Glock with the silencer or whatever it is, Ooh, could have previous murders and stuff. Serial numbers are filed off, so it's in for all kinds of fun stuff. Of course, they don't file serial numbers off anymore because they put that in the serial numbers on microscopic level and shit now, bastards. They've got new new stuff to make sure that they can track guns easier. But we'll still sell them to mentally ill people who want them because it's their constitutional right. The leprechaun told me to light fires and buy a gun. What kind of gun do you want? <laughs> yeah, leprechaun is our best salesman. Mm -hmm. Can't think of anything else to do here. Yeah, I feel like we need to take the dog and computer and get out of this already compromised location. I'm sure there's stuff on the computer. No problem. Uh, are you wanting to take the tower with you also? The tower is kind of big and bulky, and I don't think Kinley wants to carry either demon boxes, knowing that the demons will leak out of them and into his very soul. And considering how many other souls he's already lugging around, he probably doesn't need that. Um, I want to get like a cardboard box and load up the whole setup. Done. No yeah. problem. It's really heavy and bulky. The strongest guy uh, ever that you've ever even heard about holds open the door so you can lug that shit outside. <laughs> 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 it's just so fucking unfair. <laughs> Um, we're pretty. To, we're pretty close to the Chinese restaurant. Yeah, you're not all that far. Uh, you can you can hear uh, pol like uh, police talking to each other and stuff. Uh, you know how you can sometimes hear the radios and stuff because they used to leak through in the old days and stuff. Or maybe it was just me. All the 
all the stuff that the CIA put into my brain. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, but yeah, there, there's cop lights coming from that direction still because, you know, oh. uh, some drugged up fucking uh, uh, 15, 16 year old ripped off their door and said, who's your daddy or something. Plus made various threats, possibly burnished a firearm, you know. Hmm whatever the Chinese people came up with, because they're not going to say we ran away from a 16 year old now, unless he had a hand grenade and shit. So does uh, Eddie Lee's keys uh, say what type of um, maker model the car would be? Eddie Lee has no car keys. Oh, I thought we had keys, but not car keys. Key. All right. He had a master key. I thought oh. that there were others. It turns out it was only a master of evil. <laughs> I was guessing it was a master key for the restaurant because his little skinny ass would have been shutting up and opening up every morning and every oh. night because that's what you do when you're a 15 year old kid at a restaurant. You work like a fucking dog. Uh -huh. Speaking of the dog, you're carrying the dog. He's carrying the computer shit. Alex Kenley is carrying a can of soup that he uh, got out of the uh, guy's house and he just kind of went Put your finger through and drank like a fucking. <laughs> yeah, it, it seems that physical things really, he kind of ignores a lot of the limitations of physical matter now. You're pretty sure he would just walk through somebody's wall and uh, ignore it if you want to. Or maybe he thinks he's in Japan and all the walls are made of paper. You know, <laughs> not sure. Do a Homer Simpson. Mm -hmm. Bring in the phone book with. God, yeah, that's that, that's a great idea because what you need is just a couple more pounds of weight. You're thinking I could, <laughs> much more. I could, you're I could rip so. the phone book in half if you wanted me to. <laughs> yes, you really could. It might be easy no. to carry. Nope. Uh, do we want to do something with those bodies or let the next people uh, with break in here deal with them? I, well, it'd you're be already hard dead. To the large hole and stuff in them. You're already it'd, dead. When yeah. you leave this body, he'll go back to being dead. Then they'll come back to this house. They'll find more dead people. I don't really see a problem. <laughs> that was not me. Yeah, as far as framing the already dead Richard Gunn for Alex Kinley's murder. <laughs> Oh yeah, not really. A... Did did they have the same type of Glock as me? Uh Glocks are Glocks. They're you know. Okay, I'll go grab their clips. Okay, yeah, it just shows them like. <laughs> part of the box is like starting to rip, and he's doing the. Oh, I got it! I got it! And Kinley's just sitting there giggling at you. Uh, <laughs> Pretty strong. Dog, so, you know. Sure, give me a strength roll. I'm and, lifting uh, up the flap of the dog's eye patch just to make sure that, like, it wasn't. It looks like a horrible scar and gaping stuff. Yeah. All right. Yeah, he is pretty fucking strong. He, he, it's just bulky is the problem. The box is trying to disintegrate, and you're trying to keep it from disintegrating by sheer force of will. So, yeah, it's fun. Kinley's picking up and moving cars around at random and stuff so that everybody can come out in the morning and wonder why their car is parked across the street and somebody else is in their spot, you know. It's my favorite game. <laughs> so where, where do you guys wish to go at 4 a.m.? Kinley's, like, looking really annoyed because he can see, like, part of the sky lightning very, very slightly. He's, he's thinking he's going to have to recast a bunch of spells in a couple hours, and that just pisses him off. Um, we could ask the pawn shop guys about the coin. Oh, sure. Yeah. The pawn shop guys are just a joy to work with. I don't know anyone else around here. That's so sad in so many ways. Cause those are the most vile, despicable wife beater, t-shirt wearing stained, don't bathe individuals I've ever had in a campaign of the pizza. He's like, let's go with a visit them again. That's a great idea. We don't know anybody else or care to. Um, I'll set down the box, get out the phone book, and look for like a specialist 
coin shop or sure. you know, cosmetic society or yeah. we've got the money so it's not like we can't pay someone who knows well how to do this let's stuff. find like a hotel i don't really want to drag you uh people to eddie's house nor do i feel confident in fitting in with eddie's family i imagine he lives lives with his little sister and whatnot <laughs> just so, going for although it did occur to me of uh hey my little sister, can you set up this computer? Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's a brilliant idea. Why not? Yeah. She'll be like, why are you with a weird zombie guy? And I <laughs> I'm like, I told you guys to wait outside. <laughs> <laughs> and don't let us not speak in Mandarin the whole time I'm home, even though yeah. we only speak Mandarin at home. Yeah, no, we, sh no, we should do I'm English for reasons. Yeah. Yeah, that'll go over well. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's why I'm not seriously putting forth those ideas. <laughs> that's gonna be hilarious. Well, go on her for the rest of her life. <laughs> does, <laughs> and then Kimberly rips out her heart. Yeah, another one. <laughs> does David McCampbell have an address? Uh, if it is, it's fake. It's in Tennessee. Uh, no, he's not listed. Uh, the World War One flying ace <laughs> yeah. in the phone book for some goddamn reason you can't figure out. Is there a bishop in the phone book? No. I, well, actually, it, there's a lot of bishops in the phone book. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, good point. So, is there yeah. a hotel in this phone book? There's a hotel in this town. There, yeah, of course. There's, there's, let's, uh, let's get no. to one instead of looking through the phone book in the hallway. Uh, cool. No, I thought you guys were standing out in front of your business doing this. And, yeah. Yeah. And our card for Sheila. There you go. And uh, right, she uh, moves you guys along. You guys, uh, now you could go to the Motel 5, which is okay. You go to the <laughs> Motel 6, which is a step up. Or you could go to the Brownstone, which is a nice hotel in town. Mm. They call it the Brownstone because that sounds very uh, faintly English, and that means that they can charge more money, and it's a little bit posher. We're yeah. out. Plus, you've sure got plenty of money. No. I was just, I'm not even sure there's any rooms left at the um, Motel 5. <laughs> we always sure. have to destroy them more. Yeah. Actually, yes, one of the rooms has been burned in some sort of accidental fire recently. That'd be Freddy. <clears throat> Actually, I don't think it was Freddy, but we still playing Freddy. Was he cooking again? No, he was actually a new guy. He was cooking. But yeah. Freddy wasn't supervising, and he burnt the place down, so that's why we blame Freddy. Mm. <laughs> you guys want to go to Brownstone? You've got the address and stuff. Let's go for the middle one. Motel 6. Motel 6? Yeah. And the Motel 6 is kind of on the edge of town, whereas the Brownstone's kind of in the middle, and you guys are kind of in the middle also. So if you right. want to walk a lot further, you yeah, go for that. Go to Brownstone. Then. All right, no problem. Uh, for a very nice suite for the three of you for the night, it's $120. That includes breakfast. I'm a sucker for included breakfast. There I you look go. at the other two expectingly. Sold. All right. Great. You guys uh, go up. Uh, people are, uh, let's see, uh, they are looking very concerned uh, at Glenn. They're like, do you need a doctor? You look really under the weather, sir, uh, says the lady in a fake English accent because the brownstone. They're all dressed like uh, in English uh, school uniform type clothes for some reason. What? Um, yeah. <laughs> going to a costume party. They tell you it's very convincing. Thank you. Give me a fast talk roll to not have them look at each other and go. <laughs> <laughs> they do that to each other after you guys wander off. Right, you're in your room now. Uh, you've got the computers, you've got a phone book, you've got numerous guns and stuff. Um, 
Yeah, you know, looking at uh, Glenn uh, sleeping with all the guns, he's never looked so happy before. Not only is he a real PI, but he's got a lot of guns and silencers and shit. You've never seen him this oh. happy. Oh, I just grabbed the magazines. Oh, okay. I thought you wanted to take a bunch of silenced pistols with you. No. All right, just the magazines. Yeah, they'll, they'll fit in your gun, no worries. I make a little bed for baby. All right, no problem. You, the dog beds down. It's a really quiet dog. It's a pretty good dog, actually. Good thing they fit pets. Right. Um, I need to go and get some makeup. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> At 4.30 in the morning. Yes. <laughs> Is that code for... Were you not looking like a corpse? Yeah, that's code from I'm going to make sure you don't look like a corpse anymore. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I you had a, some sort of book that would tell you where they had makeup and stuff. Go down to reception. I need makeup. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, nothing's open right now, she tells you, but when it does, uh, uh, there's either a women's makeup uh, uh, place there, or there, if you're wanting more theatrical makeup, she looks you up and down. She doesn't know which way it could go. Uh, and she gives you a different address. There's no 24 hour like Walmart or anything. There's always a 24 hour something in America. She looks at you blank. Uh, Walmart? She uh, says. No. Nah. Oh. I leave. You, you give me a listen roll as one talks to the other. Yeah. Don't do anything you're going to regret, Alex. Don't do anything you're going to regret. You hear one say to the other, he's probably just wanting to buy tinfoil because it's like a living mirror when you're stoned. And the other one goes, <laughs> so, uh, right. <laughs> you wander back to your room. Do you guys want to get some sleep? You are rather tired. Dogs just sleep. I want to try to put together this computer. All right. It looks like a lot of the wires from the tower don't have holes in the other computer for some reason. Apparently, when Glenn messed with it, he made all the holes and stuff uh, fall out and disappear from the computer. It's baffling to you. You weren't aware that somebody could fuck up a computer so much that the ports themselves fell off and were replaced by smooth plastic. You've never seen a computer use roll that bad before. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Never seen a fumble. I try. That's that's a weird thing. Can I take out the disc? Yes, you pull out the ancient disc that's in there. Does it, is it labeled? It says Uri Gan Trail. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, it's wow. misspelled. You look at it. Everybody else is like either getting tired or sleeping or whatever as you sit there and look at the computer and occasionally take one of the cables and like chink, chink, chink. <laughs> nowhere to put it. And yes, there is an actual reason for this too, which is freaky. You may have to wait a few hours until things open. Just enough time that Kinley will have to recast all of his spells. <laughs> Indeed. The picture, the picture of the computer that you showed looked like a all-in-one computer. Take a card. It is an all-in-one computer, yes. When Pete Hurley saw it, he was like, oh, that's the old iMac. Yes, I don't know why they have a tower. It doesn't need one. Yes, that's exactly right. It is an all-in-one computer. So... It was back in the old days when you didn't realize that you would need different parts for things and try to put it into one convenient, larger than a football package. So that Kinley could throw the entire thing out through a window 
Nice through the wall easy. behind the window, nice through the tree behind the wall, through the guy behind the tree, into a moving car. So we've got two different computers. Aha! Uh -huh. mm. Twice the problems. Yay! <laughs> All right, let's, can I uh, display with the all-in-one then? Just plug uh, it no, in and press the big button. Uh, no, everybody's been trying that uh, before. You try your computer use it half if you want, but I don't think that's a great idea, and neither does Dana, but if you really want to, you can try <laughs> it at half. So if we get... <clears throat> Or you could take it to somebody who knows what they're doing because Jungle Girl, 1920 mm -hmm. guy, and Demons guy don't believe in computers. Demons. So we need another monitor to even try to use the, the tower. Hmm. It's weird that there wasn't another monitor in the place. But all the cords from the tower were placed under the stand of the uh, all-in-one computer, which made it appear to people who don't know about computers, like 1920s guy, Jungle Girl, and Demons guy, that it was all Demon together. Guy. So potentially, the um, tower is from. A person who brought the case to him, maybe, and he was looking through it. Maybe. That was his way of hiding it. Possible. Tower does look very old. <clears throat> I have recast spells for the day. I just did it while you were talking, so it didn't take up too much time. Yep, I got it. Do um, <laughs> you guys want to wait until 9 a.m., go have breakfast, and then drag your computer shit off to the computer guys who will laugh at you? Um, I will leave a bit earlier to once I've cast my spells to go and get the makeup. He shows you standing really angrily in front of the store. So it opens at 9 a.m. You just stand there glaring at it. <laughs> Did you want to go to the women's makeup or the theater supplies? I, I asked I think, Dana to bring up some breakfast for me. I think theater supplies will be fine. The free breakfast, I, you have to go there's for the buffet. Oh, you have Dana bring out. Fine. Yeah, I do. I make us each a waffle and a yogurt. Or no, no yogurt, no butter, some syrup. Oh. I find any type of, you know, aged fruit that they have sitting out. Aged? You know, it's probably not going to be the freshest. It's probably, <laughs> this is probably, you know, we two of putting out the orange. Come on. And uh, some coffee. After waiting a half hour for the fucking store to open, Kinley, you run into a second problem. You have no money. Because <laughs> you don't carry money unless you remember to. And I don't think you remember to. This makes you really angry. Would you like to... A, rob the store. B, mm. storm back to Glenn, demand money, and then storm back to the store. Mm. You could try your skateboard again to make it a little faster, but you probably <laughs> fall off. Uh, I will uh, just have a look. Be angry in the store. <laughs> I'm so poor, you say. They're like, ah, fucking kids. I just don't like money. Hate money. Yeah. 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 You can make David come with you and carry money. Yeah. Do that. She's probably not doing anything. I'm trying to right balance all of them. I'll take that. So you go back to Dana, steal her breakfast, drag her yeah. off to the store, and demand she spend money for you. Can I drop this off at Glenn? What? I have a I have a very important question to ask Glenn after I made these waffles. What's up? Glenn, I sit down on the food. Do you think that you have a digestive system that works? 
The dog comes over and takes some of the food and takes it back to her. Actually, it's snapping at the air for a while. It is sad. <laughs> Do I feel hungry? Oh, yeah. I could eat. Good luck. <laughs> okay, now I'm fine with leaving this room. I don't know, want to know what happens next right away. Let's Just go, leaving. Alex. I grab, the, I grab some cash off of the... The dog goes... Ruff, ruff, ruff. Um, I put I put some of the waffle against the wall. It it eats the waffle like it, it may disappear real soon if it doesn't, <laughs> and then it goes rough rough and it's kind of trying to follow you. Aww, I clip on the leash. Come on, baby. And you guys head back to the store. <laughs> you have to end up leashing the dog outside, but then you go in. And you're buying makeup and stuff. You're going to end up spending about. Um, Kinley, would you like just enough, or do you want too much? Yeah, it's just enough. Just enough is like forty dollars. Too much is like a hundred dollars. But it, you can do amazing other shit with it if you wanted to. Yeah, it's just enough. Okay. Meanwhile, while you guys are off buying makeup, Glenn, there's a knock at the hotel door. I quietly go and look through the people. You see two police <laughs> officers standing there looking at you. Open up. We know you're in there, gun. I remain silent. Oh, make us fucking knock in this door. <laughs> knock in this door. <laughs> You're only making it worse on yourself, God, says the air cop. I silently go back to my breakfast. <laughs> All right. Eventually, you hear a key go in the lock after they get the manager and bring him back up. <laughs> Give me her a card for coming out of that. The cops come in. They stand you up. They don't bother search you or Miranda you or anything. They just slap on the cuffs, take you out. They're not being especially brutal or anything. Give me an empathy roll. Yes. They seem amused and irritated. Not gonna get you out of it, one of them says. What? What's all Come this? On. Yeah, yeah, they say. They pretty much almost kind of pick you up and walk off with you. What? Am I under arrest? <laughs> they both laugh and they are just taking you downstairs and stuff. You guys see uh Glenn getting put into a police car. He gets mm. put in the back in the cage, he's handcuffed with his hands behind him. And give me spot hidden rolls at half from both you two who uh, aren't Glenn. I haven't. I wasn't actually planning to come straight back to the hotel. I oh wow! Well, then don't, don't bother. You take her off on a walk. You guys are out in a park or visiting the zoo or something. I, I'm good with it. I get a. I, I get. I ask for a, a, a medium sized box from the uh, store. Okay. Yep. Get one of those. I then go to a um, pound. Um, I want to adopt a puppy. But a really vicious one. I'm, I like to train them. They look at the beagle that's with her. They look at you and go, I'm sorry, sir. You have to be at least 18 to adopt a dog. <laughs> She's 18. <laughs> it's for her. Clearly, <laughs> clearly dude body. <laughs> I'm wow. sorry, kids. Why don't you come back with your parents? They tell you. Meanwhile, uh, you're in the back of the police car. They are just driving crazily through town with the lights and sirens on. They're not talking to each other or you. This is you have to tell me what the charge is. <laughs> they just kind of chuckle and keep driving crazy. And they drive you a bit out of town and up to a big warehouse. And then they come over and they get you out of the car and one on each side and they take you up. 
they open up the door and it's all dark and spooky is big inside and they put you in and they take you just inside the doorway and one of them goes stay here and the other one goes right here and then they go out and close the warehouse door it's completely dark as shit all the lights come on there's a whole bunch of cops and stuff now go surprise and there's a birthday cake and they begin singing happy birthday to you and there's some guy in a wheelchair a black guy in a wheelchair is rolling up and he goes i told you we would get you <laughs> Every cop comes and un unlocks your handcuffs and stuff Probably a good thing I didn't do what I was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> everybody. Oh, you got me. A birthday to remember. <laughs> I'll nod. And then a couple of cops bring over, or a cop brings over a chair, and a couple of cops put you up on the chair, and the air cops are going, speech, speech, speech. Go ahead, says the black guy in the wheelchair. Give us a speech gun. Mm. And everybody waits to hear what you say. Thank you so much. Another great year in the books. Now, let's celebrate. Oh, come on, speech. Some people are throwing like paper or plastic cups at you and stuff. <laughs> come on, give us a real speech. It's a bunch of cops. Give me an empathy roll. At F. You want something heartfelt. Good luck. Hmm. There's men cops, women cops, no children cops, oddly. Damn racist cops. Oh. oh, give me a spot hidden roll. You see a couple of uh, body outlines with text photographing them and stuff. And when uh, the black guy in the wheelchair notices that you notice. He goes, do you know what it costs to run a hall? <laughs> <laughs> Several of the cops think this is the funniest thing they've heard all day. Speech, say the cops. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You're so appreciative. I know as much as I've contributed to nothing compared to you brave men and women. Ah, uh, uh, they say. They lean forward to hear more. Now, how about some cake? Come on, God, come on. After all this time, you're giving us that. What kind of shit is that? Jesus, he goes private and suddenly his <laughs> words fail him. Hmm. What can I say? Early, not a lot, say the cops. <laughs> no. So, they don't seem to be alarmed by my appearance? Uh, if they are, they're not saying anything about it yet. Apparently, maybe your speech will make a difference if you can actually come up with something other than let's eat cake. <laughs> Which some of them are already fucking doing. I'd like to point that out right now. They did not wait. <laughs> no. Well. It looks like they did go through a lot of trouble of getting cake and people and stuff here, you know, and ambushing you and shit and somehow finding out where you were. Hmm. Some Dude. more important, though. Who knows how to use a computer? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you 
see. Last night, I was attacked. Left for dead. What was her name? Says one of the cops. What? What was her name? There's a lot of general laughter as people don't realize that you're speaking honestly. Thinking that they're like went ready for the good time speech and you're wanting to break out some truth. And... Someone named Bishop. Uh, I, I think that's it, folks. Go on, go on with your party, says the guy in the wheelchair. He's like, come on, come on. Hmm? Of course, you, you've got your testimony tomorrow. Uh, what are you thinking about bringing up Bishop at your birthday party? We all know that you've got your testimony. It's your testimony that's going to put him behind bars. He comes, uh, come with me, come with me. He's got one of those electric wheelchairs. And he starts going off. Hey, they tried to kill me. <laughs> uh, he says he's obviously not believing you. He says, come over here. He says, look. I, I can tell you're not getting any sleep. Just looking at you, you look like shit. You're going to have to clean up before the trial tomorrow at noon. And you better have your testimony down. You're the first person that saw, saw that Bishop ba uh, bastard actually pull the trigger on that car bomb. So your testimony is going to put him away. I hope you got all your shit together. <clears throat> I, I know that you're feeling like you're under attack and stuff, but... You do it right tomorrow, it'll all be over, okay? You just got to pull it together. Do you know how to use a computer? <laughs> <laughs> I know that tech has never been your thing, but, you know, I, I got you that computer for your birthday so you could learn how to do it, you know, last year. So you promised. You promised that you'd taken the computer classes and stuff. So... Yeah, look, I know that you're scared. I know you're nervous. You're just going to have to calm the fuck down. We'll have an officer take you back to the hotel where whoever you're with stuff. Do these look like bullet holes to you? He looks like, <laughs> like what's wrong with you? He's like, look, hey, you're falling to pieces. You, you, can't, you can't just keep babbling like this, okay? Go out, get some get some better clothes and stuff. I mean, just just pull it together, man. Okay. This is the first time we're gonna get right for Bishop, and we've got him dead to rights. Dead to rights. Mm. Okay. All right. Yeah, why don't you go? Why don't you go get some sleep? You look horrible. Might need your help. He raises an eyebrow. He goes, uh, "What do you need?" What was your phone number again? You've known my phone number. Look, no. why don't you, you go lost, get some sleep? I lost my address book. You never had an address book. You always call on pay phones. You, you come on. Go get some sleep. And if you're doing any drinking, today is the last day until the trial's over, okay? And, yeah. Great. Go. He gets, he's like, I, take, take, him, take him back where you found him. The two cops that grabbed you out of the hotel are like, yep, no problem. We got a call from one of the desk girls and stuff. Uh, make sure you get some sleep or something, would you? Right. Yeah. Cops drive you back to the hotel. <laughs> the other cops are looking at you like couldn't even give a birthday speech. You get driven back to the hotel, dropped off by the cops. Hmm. They drive away. Was Kinley one to get anything else while he's out and around us other than the box? Uh, mm, mm, no, 
I think just oh, I go and get some. Uh, well, I've got the money, lady stroke, boy with me. Uh, mm -hmm. I go and get just um, some like wrapping paper and a bow, and a couple of like little cards, like gift cards. Would you like a slightly bigger box to put your box into? No, in fact, I'd like a smaller box. Ah, the store smaller inside box. of your other box. Small box. Okay. I check my ID. That's still me, you say. What's What's the date on it? <laughs> uh, 1998. What? 1998 is the year. Oh. Well, if today's my birthday, then I know what day it is. Yes, that's true. I don't know what day it is either. It's not important for this uh, case. Okay. Pretty much your only day tomorrow. Before heading back to the uh, hotel, the last door I'm in, I'm going to go and visit the restroom. Are you going to fucking uh, grab some dude and rip out his heart while he's trying to take a poop? <laughs> no. Good. Okay. I'm going to take a massive dump in the box. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wrap it up. With a bow, and I'm going to put a card on it saying to the reception girls. I'm then going to go back to the hotel and leave the box somewhere like, like it's not, it's kind of hidden. So right, they'll come across right. it eventually, but not right now. And, uh, um, just, and then I go back up to my room. Um, yeah, I'm not taking any fucking stoner comment and lying down. So. <laughs> All right, no problem. You do something that a stoner would definitely never, ever do. <laughs> okay. <It's> revenge. <laughs> yeah. All right. And I'm sure that they'll be thrilled to find your little present. And you guys all get back together. Um, give me a disguise roll as you're applying makeup to... Richard Gunn. Private Here we eye. go. Hopefully, you'll be oh. looking like a normal person, yeah. not a clown. Should have got a change of clothes then. Well, that's that up to you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. He's really, he is super good. To, he has you looking just like the ID picture and stuff. And I attempt to do a. Um, I I, should have I, maybe like somebody else. I attempt to do this. Might screw it up, but I'm going to try. <laughs> I attempt to do a uh, um, a quick job of it by practicing my quick artist change as well. Uh, quick... You need, you need uh, for that. That's a clothing thing. You need different clothes and stuff. That's not disguise thing. All right, well, I'll like, just go. And, I'll wait until he gets loads of clothes and then just change like shit. Or I'll practice it. I don't know. Have I got spare clothes I can practice? I'm just going to no, buy some clothes. clothes. Go buy some clothes. I don't want to be a stoner anymore. Let's go get clothes. All right. Uh, you guys uh, go off on a wild <laughs> shopping spree. Should we try uh, my apartment? I want just a nice suit. Young yeah. man in a suit. Not I don't know good. if that's in the budget. I am. Um, you've got plenty of money. It doesn't have to be a nice, nice suit. Just a, just a suit. Like a work I, suit. Plus, I think Dana objects to going back to what she calls the compromised apartment. Probably. Where the corpses are. Yeah. But for all three of you, uh, plus his suit, call it $400. His suit was the more expensive thing, but he is definitely looking sharp. Uh, as, uh, the only annoying thing, Kinley, is that the earrings and the piercings and shit... They're not in your fucking face, but when you look in the mirror and the multicolored hair, it's still there. And That's you're why like, it look weird. Yeah. With the suit. Yeah. Hmm. But you guys now have lots of different clothes. Um, you, uh, with the suit and stuff, you're able, uh, all you need now is uh, some time and a pair of scissors, and then you can adjust other garments so that you can flip out of suit into other things and stuff. Cool. You've got scissors with the disguise thing. You didn't know if you need to remove his nose or something like that, but, mm. you know, you never tell when you're going to have to cut off Glenn's nose. Never know. If he gets too nosy. There's no need to spite my face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
So you guys have all the new clothes and stuff. Uh, you've managed to spend a lot of your stolen money. You feel better about life. Hmm. When suddenly Dana says to you, you kill everyone. Right, Dana, they've taken you on a shopping uh, trip. Everybody wanted new clothes and shit. Uh, Kinley's now wearing a suit. So he looked like a little stoner kid in a fucking nice ass suit. Um, mark off 400 more dollars. Uh, you guys have whatever clothes you want. And then Kinley is now cutting up some of the clothes they just bought in order to make it uh, different for his reasons. Okay. Are we in the hotel? Yes, yes, although you've only got a couple more hours until checkout or to spend more money. You notice Glenn seems to be stressing about some shit. You're not sure what. He's usually stressed about something. You're not sure why he would stress out now. I mean, you've left him alone in the hotel for a while, and he should be okay. But, you know, when you got back, he's just sitting there looking more stressed than when you left. Digestive problems? Um. Abduction? Abduction? I don't think nice. a waffle does that. <laughs> Just like an alien fucking lifting him out through the thing. He's like, no! <laughs> well, the cops love me. Yeah, Less you now. were a former cop, aren't you? How do you know? Because you had, like, pictures and stuff in the blended. Not Glenn, sorry, Richard. That was all over in your apartment thing, in your office, that you were a former police officer. Yeah. Um, I don't suppose anyone has um, any victories, do they? Mm -hmm. right. I have a uh, lock it in, so if anyone gets victories, let me know. This one is not a prestige mod. This is just normal, good old, everyday. Yeah. And you haven't had to have Kinley pull out a giant fucking weapon and dispatch anybody yet. He's done it with his hand. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to level up the playing field. I want to see what the next weapon Kinley starts using is. Uh, like I said, I think it's. Just, I think I want to build up fists until they get stupidly high. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go around punching people. <laughs> You already done with your ice scythe? No, no, I'm still, I'm still building up the hammer, but um, mm. we'll get to the ice scythe eventually. It's always good to have a backup big weapon just in case you meet like a god like we did the other day. Right. I have that in my magic pocket. I don't know if we can access that or not. But... Yeah, we should do. <clears throat> I'm going to try bagel fish. Yeah. And look at my gift card in Mandarin for little sister. And hopefully I will send no Mandarin. Thought we already figured that out. I know, but I'm trying to, yes, success. Nice. So now I am fluent in Mandarin for the rest of this uh, adventure. Very nice. That could come in handy. Especially if people continue to assume that I know Mandarin. Well, <laughs> that's that's very true. I go ahead for another day of hoteling. Okay. 120. What do you guys do now? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pay for another day at the hotel. Oh, look at that money fly. So another 120. Hey. Um, as you're doing, as you're downstairs by yourself paying for something, one of the girls goes, oh, look at this. It's, Ew. <laughs> oh, what's that smell? Oh, my God. Somebody shit in a box and wrapped it in gift wrapping and left it here. Oh, I'm so, oh, get it out quick. <laughs> they have Sorry. no idea who done such a thing. Bunch of savages in this town. I think to myself, did somebody do that while I was shopping, or is Richard Gunn just smelling right? Mm. You're not there. Thank goodness. He, no, he comes back into the room. You're all together in your room again. 
So actually, does does by me applying makeup to Glenn, does it actually change the way he looks? Because theoretically, yeah, you're thinking you might now that you're looking at you might be able to cover up the piercings and shit with makeup on you, which is yeah. weird. Yeah, like I could do some stuff to make myself look different because I'm a bit stand out at the moment, so I wanna. Give me a disguise roll. Yeah, by a lot. You check. You check in the mirror. Oh God! Now you look like a young Republican. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> you went too far. <laughs> <laughs> this okay. will show the ladies at reception. <laughs> um, Alex. You want to make me look like a different Asian kid? If Since Eddie want. is still alive, I feel responsible for <laughs> uh, I'll his do reputation. my best with what we've got. Sounds good. Ah. All right. A little bit different. Might not be recognized immediately. Um, you're wishing you'd spent more on your disguise kit. Mm -hmm. You're about out of shit. Mm hmm you're thinking, I've just got to start buying the big one. Fuck Scott's money. <laughs> oh, Fuck I thought Glenn's that this money. was off of our um, would-be assassins. Or, uh, yes, but Glenn considers all that his money now. <laughs> Anytime he gets money, is his money now. It's in my pocket. It's in my pocket. <laughs> it's in Richard's pocket. <laughs> mm. So... Uh, right, you guys are sitting around playing dress up at the uh, hotel. Uh, um, right. Did I find any coin people on the phone book? Oh, sure. Uh, in addition oh. to the uh, um, the hotel, probably has an up to date phone book. I'll look in that one. You go downstairs. Wait. Wait he gets up, and wandering off again. Glenn, get back here. There's no phone book in the room. Uh, no. What kind of fancy hotel is this? Too fancy for a phone book, apparently. What? Get back in here. I close what? the door. What do you I want? I don't think we should be flashing this thing around. It was uh, brought to lengths to be hidden. So. Oh, yeah, but we need to figure out. Isn't the demon boxes more important first? Probably. Hmm. I think it has more of a Dora significance, maybe. Maybe. And Glenn like, did find out a lot about what's going on, although he has mm -hmm. no idea what it all means. What does it all mean? I don't know if outside help is going to solve this other than just raise more attention. Bishop uh, did a car bombing, and I... Uh, Richard Gunn must have witnessed it, and there's a trial, and um, I'm supposed to give testimony tomorrow at noon, or Richard Gunn is, anyway. I don't know what the fuck he saw. <laughs> <laughs> so. So that's our deadline to figure out what's happening. They killed Richard Gunn to prevent him from testifying. From putting Bishop away. Hmm. So maybe I just need to figure out what the testimony is supposed to be and survive to tomorrow to put the guy away. As he says that, it shows a cut scene of some other guy assembling a sniper rifle and stuff. <laughs> Shining it up. Got back to you guys. <laughs> so, um, if, if this is a big case, there might be, um, you know, maybe if we go to like a library or something, we could probably do some research and find out who this bishop is and who even you are. Yeah, because it's probably a high-profile case if people are getting idea. off over it. You should disguise me as someone else so I don't get assassinated. He <laughs> looks at the disguise kit. It's like. I got a clown wig and red <laughs> nose and some peach makeup. I knew I should have bought the bigger one. Need bigger one. You want to send him out to get it and see if he gets killed while he's out? 
If well, he does, just give you the money and I can go get it. Nobody will give you money. He's got it in his pocket and he claims it's his now. Dana <laughs> to get it. <laughs> of course, they make poor Dana go out and get stuff just after she's gotten comfortable and is sitting there petting the dog. I finally eat my cold waffle. Yeah, well, the dog got it, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. This baby is a not a great name. Does the dog come to baby anyway? Uh -huh. Hey, baby. Okay. Yep. I mean, it should definitely be pirate theme. Yep. The name. Um. Okay, puppy. Let's, dog doesn't let's, answer the puppy. It just it just sits there. Anytime you say baby, it puts its head up, looks around. <laughs> it feels like the wife probably named this dog. But then, uh, definitely not happiness since uh, Richard ended up with it. <laughs> um, she got the real baby. She did. She did. He got the real uh, support payments. The dog baby. Um, so I have um, magic item goes bye bye was one of the cards. Does anybody so, have a magical item? Or actually, first, does Dana have a magic item on her? Well, on... Oh, wait, no, you don't. Nobody has a magic item on, on them, as far as I know. Oh, wait, no, Kinley does. Shit. I think that may be his only magic item that's on him. What, so we don't have anything else on us? I have tarot cards. Why would some come and want some not? What? Why would some come and some not? Because it's uh, uh, pocketed. Those are the only ones that came. If you have nothing pocketed, you got nothing on you. So we don't have any of the magic items we would normally have. Only the pocketed stuff has come. I had an ice scythe pocketed. But I had I a hammer and I had the um, statue pocketed. So Yeah. Uh, so it's either Does statue, the... hammer, or ice scythe. Does the tarot cards count? Not until they get activated. Once they get activated, definitely. How how much do you or... like your statue, Alex? I think that you like don't it a lot. It. No, I never get attached to anything in this game, so don't worry about it. Well, Just I, I'll rip a... Or no, I guess that these aren't activated right. in a deck, these tarot cards. That's either that or the ice scythe, because I think you've got plenty of ice scythe. So, <laughs> up to you guys. Ice scythe, statue, or hammer. I haven't learned how to use it yet anyway. Ah. Easy choice, then. Let's get rid of the ice scythe. Bing! What do, you mean, what do you mean that you want a limited retrieve that card? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that... No, I, I thought that was the sound of an ice scythe uh, zipping out of existence. Oh, uh, that sound sounds a lot like the EverQuest <laughs> level up sound, which is. So. Does anybody want a super sprint card? Oh, yeah, Sheila's uh, got to get rid of three more cards. Yeah. Dang. I'm good. I think I've got good cards. Good problem. Sheila and, keeps saying smart shit, so she keeps getting cards. Anybody want an opponent fails? I have two, so... If you're going to throw it away, I'll take it. Yeah. Definitely. 